Thanks, my name is Emmanuel Jouquet. I'm community manager and content manager for the Wallonia Public Service and the Geomatics Department. So, uh, like Mark says, it will be a, a little bit different. I'm not a specialist, I'm not a geomatician, I'm not a developer. But what um, I want to talk about is the Geo Challenge. But before talking about the Geo Challenge, I want to um, speak a little bit about our uh, geo portal, our public special information and uh, our the related tools that goes with the uh, special information for Wallonia. So first of all, the Wallonia geo portal. Um, you have to know that uh, how this geo portal comes to life. Uh, there is two uh, big laws, uh, the, the European law, perhaps you know it, it's INSPAR directive uh, that comes from Europe and we have to translate um, in Belgium and in Wallonia this uh, directive and it's called the Infra SIG decree for us, so the GIS infrastructure and what the government decide, it's very important, it's not only to take the INSPIRE directive and say okay we will put it in a decree, they have a, a big reflection on how to create a, um, a real, real infrastructure about Wallona geospatial information, uh, use uh, tools, uh, donc re a really, really big um, reflection about the creation of this infrastructure. And the, the top of the iceberg about this infrastructure is the geoportal of uh, Wallonia. But if you, like, if you look at the geoportal in France, you will see that there is only a viewer. There is only the possibility to look at the information in this uh, geoportal. In Wallonia, the geoportal has two purposes. The first one is important. It's, to, it's a meeting point for the geomatics user community. So you have information about uh, formation, about how to learn to use geomatics UT, how to uh, find um, special data information, uh, where you can start everything and, and so on and so on. But the most purpose is of course a showcase for the public special information and uh, you can find it on this address geoportal.wallonie.be. So on the geoportal you will find public special information. Alors, it's a single source of data from and about Wallonia. And all the advantages of this single source of data is that this, it is documented, of course, structured, modeled, regularly updated, interoperability because of the, uh, of course, European uh, directive and known origin, very important for us. All this geospatial information, what I have to say is that there is uh, synergies and transversalities. This data is not only about country planning or about territory. It's about economy, employment, uh, mobility, support, uh, finance. There is, there is a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, different geospatial information. And the, big, big, uh, the biggest producer is, of course, Wallonia Public Services. But you have also other uh, partners or producers that are uh, federal and public authorities. So uh, uh, a city, a province can uh, meet us and say, I want to broadcast my information uh, uh, with your uh, geoportal. It's possible. So there is a lot, a lot of uh, public special information on this site. What are the tools uh, that are uh, available for uh, all the, the community? Of course, the administration, but also some other users. The first one, uh, it's a catalog. It's an online producer's catalog. It's called MetaWall for uh, Metadata Wallonia information. Uh, and it helps us uh, create with the producers 
all the information and all the metadata of the data they want to broadcast, first of all. Second tools, uh, very important also, uh, we are a public service and we want that citizens can interact, can see our information. So uh, not every citizen has specific tools, mapping tools or other tools, uh, to interact, to see geographic information. So we decide uh, to create and to develop a viewer, a specific discovery viewer called Wallon Map. Wallonia on Map, it's easy to, to understand. And the last tools uh, is for developer to developers. It's called GeoViewer API. And there is a lot of um, documentation about all the tools uh, a developer can use to um, create a specific viewer or specific programs for our administration uh, or for the users of our uh, geographic information. So just a, a slide to, to resume. Um, you see there is a producers. We are the most important producers in Wallonia about public uh, inf uh, geographic information. But we create data and metadata where there is a single point of uh, where you can find all this information. And then we create some tools for a, a, a lot of users from the citizens to specialists, to private sector companies, and also public uh, services, of course. And now I will talk about the, the, the event, the competition, the Geo Challenge. Alors, why is this uh, challenge? Why this competition? You see, there is a lot of usage or uses of our uh, geographic information, but now with the open data, with a lot, with, with a lot of more um, data that are on the market, uh, with a lot more um, new way of working, uh, we want to increase uh, the use of geographic information, of public geographic information, and also we want to show that administration, public administration, can be there, can be on the podium, uh, can, uh, can uh, be front runner for the use uh, and, uh, of public um, and create uh, public information. So we create a competition called the Geo Challenge. The idea it's a competition for small business, small business companies and academic community. The only obligation uh, in this competition is to use Wallonia spatial information. Not only this, this one, you can also uh, have um, and uh, ask other data from other organisms, uh, private data, or uh, why not uh, create um, crowd mapping, uh, older data. And the idea is to meet citizens of, of public administration challenges. Every day, uh, the administration and the citizens face challenges. Where can I uh, ought to, to have a better uh, mobility? Uh, where can I find some uh, spots to work? Uh, and so on and so on. Donc we, have a, uh, we have created some challenges. And the idea is to, uh, to, to find an answer uh, uh, with the Geo Challenge. Alors, for us, why uh, create this uh, Geo Challenge? It's to uh, create solutions that are, that are user oriented. It's to develop the use of the special information. It's a possibility for us to explore new tools and new ways of working with the GIS community. Of course, we want to promote the Wallonia Geoportal and the knowledge of the public services. And we want to break some old administration images. Uh, it's also uh, possible for us, and it's an idea. You know, there is a, a, a huge legislation 
And when you want to, to work with uh, administration, public administration for some, some companies, it's very difficult. It has a lot of times, and sometimes we, we, we missed to work with this these companies because they don't want to, to take time to answer all these uh, obligations. So it's a possibility for us to work with some companies that, um, that don't want to, to uh, enter uh, a lot of uh, work with administration uh, papers. Alors, what are the, the agenda or the calendar, sorry? The calendar, uh, so the idea is not only have a, a hackathon, hackathon of three days, it's to have a long uh, way of working. So first of all, there will be a call for candidates. We will uh, launch the challenges uh, on the 7th of February. So um, what the candidate have to do is they have to say what challenge they want to, to answer, the data they will use, uh, the technologies uh, they propose to use, and also their concept. The end of the call is on the 15th of March. All the candidature, there is a jury, and the jury will, will choose for each challenge. There will be between four and six challenges, and for each challenge, the jury will choose three candidates. And these candidates will go further. They will have a kickoff meeting with the administration and the experts. They will work with a, a coach, a, a spoke, a single person of contact. They will, they will work on the first development and they will, they will go deeper with their solutions in front of uh, uh, administrations and users. And it will um, last uh, during, um, from the 16th March to the end of May. And at the end of May, uh, we will have a Geo Challenge Night where a great event where each candidate will have the opportunity to present his solutions in front of the same jury. So the jury is the same for the first selection and for the second uh, selection. But this night, there will be also, there will be also a lot of um, digital technologies experts, uh, uh, administration experts, uh, Industries, real experts, a lot of uh, people can see what the uh, candidate has to uh, present. So when the night is over, there will be a second selection. And in this case, only one candidate w will remain per challenge. And uh, during June and October, this, the candidates can uh, follow, uh, can continuing uh, to work on their solutions, uh, development, and also deployment uh, for the citizens or for the, the, the administration. So, first of all, a call, then a first selection, and then a last selection. Alors, why one of you or, or one member of the community will who can take part uh, in this event or in this competition. First of all, there is a prize money for each second round candidate. So each candidate who is chosen for a challenge and who go uh, until the end of the uh, event will have a prize money. Um, the last uh, prize money or the last, um, we we'll talk about uh, 10 tolls, 10,000 10, uh, euro per candidate. But uh, it will be clear uh, in, a, in a few days because we have a, a meeting with the uh, government uh, at this point. Second, it's the opportunity to work with administration, geomatics and digital technologies experts develop your knowledge, work on new ideas and solutions with administration, uh, make others aware of your business, uh, some ads, some publi, uh, some, uh, some, 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 pub some ads and some public information 
will be uh, made uh, about this event, of course. Um, what are the themes of the challenges? So, in Allure, so um, for Nohan, we have four themes. First is environment and nature. Uh, for an example, the challenge will be uh, how to uh, prevent um, or have more security uh, in, uh, when you walk uh, in some uh, forest in uh, Wallonia. Sustainable mobility is to help our agent uh, or the member of the administration to have a better mobility, uh, not only choose their car, but there is a lot of opportunities now. And we, are, uh, we have the idea to, to, to propose uh, a tool for that. Uh, elderly assistance um, is difficult for some people to, to choose or to uh, discover a rest home for uh, their for some people, so we want to to, facil to, to make that easier. Uh, and so small business support uh, is the idea to uh, make easier for some companies to find some uh, place to work, uh, like co-working uh, places or simply uh, working places. But all the challenges will be uh, shown on the 7th of February, when the Geo Challenge will be launched. Uh, because uh, we have, uh, as I said, we have a meeting with the government uh, in, the, in, the, in this week and we will close all the challenges and all the prize money that goes with this, this Geo Challenge. But the teams are this one. Alors, who uh, is who organize and who coordinate this event, it's Wallonia Public Service. This is the, G the CIO team. The Wallonia Public Service CIO team is the team who is in charge of the digital transformation of the Wallonia Public Services. It's a new uh, direction uh, for the Wallonia Public Service and also the geomatics department. And the other partner is Wallonia Digital Technology Agency, uh, the ADN. Uh, with the Digital Wallonia program. And of course, uh, who can uh, take part in this Geo Challenge is the small business companies and the academic community, universities, high schools and students' association. So, uh, bah, see you on the 7th of February on this site, uh, geoportail.wallonie.be slash geochallenge. We will, we, you will have all the informations, all the challenges, and uh, all the details about these uh, events. Okay, thank you very much. Right. And see. Thank you.